hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly. assembly, 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 assembly. Arriving in Pittsburgh for the G20 summit are finding a city on lockdown. The next moment, my eardrums were blasting, and as that happened, I basically turned around, saw about 40 riot police assisted by military. They're closing in. Run! Get out! I told you! This is why the police save us all! You must leave the this was the talk of the town in Hardin on Thursday. Mercedes decked out in the city of Hardin Police Department decals and driven by American Police Force members. We're not disclosing the name of our parent company. We know the guy that owns the company, but we've never seen this name before. Excuse me, you just dropped a bomb on us. This is Red Dawn, foreign mercenary group admitted, driving around doing police work with Hardin Police next to their American Police Force logo. This is insane. Passengers describe a terror attack and the arrest of a suspect. So he's a controlled asset, and of course it's not a matter of failure to connect the dots. The FBI now has five versions of their story. Can you add how they were are they getting in Yemen? That's how the scanning machines that we currently are beginning to deploy. He told me to go through the scanner, and I said no. It's a real act of submission. They were involved in a cover-up. This is huge. The Federal Emergency Management Agency coordinates the federal government's role in preparing for, preventing, mitigating the effects of, responding to, and recovering from all domestic disasters, whether natural or man-made, including acts of terror. Its beginnings can be traced to disaster legislation passed in 1803 to provide assistance to a New Hampshire town following a fire. Following a string of natural disasters in the 60s and 70s, 
President Jimmy Carter signed Executive Order 12127 and merged nearly 10 federal agencies into what we now know as FEMA. In March 2003, FEMA joined 22 other federal agencies to become part of Homeland Security. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf Coast and most notably, the city of New Orleans. Federal and local authorities encouraged those who could not evacuate the city to go to the Superdome to ride out the storm, where there would be assistance to take care of them. This is how your government cares for you. This is a FEMA camp. And that's all we're hearing about are the people in New Orleans. Those are the only ones that we're seeing on television are the scumbags who were left in New Orleans or who decided to stay in New Orleans and they're getting all of the attention. I have made three police state films. I have uh, also, you know, written books and, and uh, uh, news articles on the subject. And the problem is, when you cover FEMA camps, is there's so much evidence, so many congressional hearings, so many news articles, so many documents. You know, the problem is knowing where to start. Executive orders. This is how they introduce you. See, they're introducing it all. They've denied they're building all this for all these decades. Now as they unveil it, they're putting their PR spin on it. So Executive Order 10,990 allows the government to take over all modes of transportation and control of highways and seaports. That's been reaffirmed under PDD 51, under the John Warner Defense Authorization Act and others. Executive Order 10,995 allows the government to seize and control the communication media. Executive Order 10,997 allows the government to take over all electrical power, gas, petroleum, fuels, and minerals. Executive Order 10,998 allows the government to seize all means of transportation, including personal cars, trucks, and vehicles of any kind, and total control over all highways, seaports, and waterways. Executive Order 10,999 allows the government to take over all food resources and farms. Executive Order 11,000 allows the government to mobilize civilians into work brigades under government supervision. Executive Order 11,001 allows the government to take over all health, education, welfare functions. What's happening through the imploded economy that the foreign central banks are engineering? Do they make you be beholden to the government? Designates the Postmaster General to operate a national registration of all persons. That goes on through the Selective Service. Executive Order 11003 allows the government to take over all airports, aircraft, including commercial aircraft. Remember when they shut down all flights after 9-11? Executive Order 11004 allows the Housing and Finance Authority to relocate communities, build new housing with public funds, designate areas to be abandoned, and establish new locations for populations. Remember Louisiana, Mississippi, Katrina? Brownie, you're doing a heck of a job. The FEMA director is working 24 Executive Order 11005 allows the government to take over all railroads, inland waterways, and public storage facilities. Executive Order 11051 specifies the responsibility of the Office of Emergency Planning and gives authorization to put all executive orders into effect in times of increased international tensions and economic or financial crises. Executive Order 11310 grants authority of the Department of Justice to enforce the plans set out in executive orders to institute industrial support, to establish judicial and legislative liaison, to control all aliens to operate penal and correctional institutions and to advise and assist the president. So that's your FEMA camps. Executive Order 11049 assigns emergency preparedness functions to federal departments and agencies consolidating 21 operational executive orders issued at 15 year period. Executive Order 11921 allows the Federal Emergency Preparedness Agency to develop plans to establish control over the mechanisms of production and distribution of energy sources, wage salaries, credit and the flow of money in U.S. financial institution and any undefined national emergency. It also provides that when a state of emergency is declared by the President, Congress cannot review the action for six months. PDD-51 says never. Uh, 
up on screen are photocopies of the Miami Herald, and this goes back into the 1980s, when they had congressional hearings dealing with shadow government and martial 